Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing a lock screen demonstration for all dark great ROMs. Um, so we'll be looking at everything he has to offer. Um, there are in total nine, and we will be looking at each and every one of them. So let's get down to it. Alright, so something that comes up with Simply Galaxy S2 in the settings menu is the lock screen menu. Um, it is somewhat like spare parts, as most of you have... Uh, use that, but this uh, does something, a few things more. Well, um, to go over it, it uh, it manages the the entry speed, if you may, uh, of the new windows. So you can set it fast, normal, slow, or very slow, as you can see now. If I try to open this up again, it'll open up slow. And I set it to fast. Now, transition animations is for. Um, if you don't use a custom um, launcher like ADW or something, it will manage how fast you s you scroll through uh, your home pages, which is pretty cool. Um, there's fancy input animations, haptic feedback, which you can also manage in settings. I mean, in sounds in settings, uh, compatibility mode. Um, well, that speaks for itself. Um, the other thing would be device info, battery history, battery information, usage statistics. Um, it's nothing new. Uh, battery info will give you um, the temperature of the battery and how long it's been unplugged and so on. So it's great, great information. Definitely useful. Battery history is, of course, this thing. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool too. Now the the most striking thing is lock screen settings. So here you can set up a custom app for um, for it to open. This will, of course, work on some lock screens that are available. Um, well, I will get down down to that later. Um, here you can pick up your lock screen style. So of course you have the SGS2 unlock. Everyone knows what that is. It's a lot like the glass pane unlock message. There should be like a missed call thing too. So um, after that, we got the glass unlock. Everyone knows what the glass unlock is. It's a uh, sort of screen and the message. I mean, missed call here. Missed call will show up. Then we got, of course, the epic unlock. Everyone knows what the epic unlock. Well, most of you all know what uh, all of this is. So. Uh, we got R2-D2, I've shown this before in um, the Simply Galaxy S2 ROM review, it's a pretty cool unlock screen, mm -hmm. mostly uh, cosmetic, it just, it's basically the Android lock screen with a different feel to it. Now the four tab unlock. This, of course, is pretty cool because you can set up a custom application, as I was talking about before, to open up here, and you can also open up the call, the dialer. I mean, as you can see there. So great stuff here, and uh, my UI unlock, which is one of my favorites, is what I was using before. If you press down on the call and unlock, it'll open up the dialer. Press down on this and unlock, it'll open up um, the custom app. It doesn't necessarily open up the messaging. It'll open up a custom app that you set up. Uh, so let's go ahead and unlock that and let's talk about um, uh, the four tab. Let's go there so that you can set up the uh, custom app. And you, can, you should not uh, set up a function here. Just go to applications. It more it may um, not work if you um, if you set up a function. So go ahead and set up an application, whatever you want here. It's all it's all good stuff. Um, and we got the Android unlock. Of course, I missed the rotary unlock. It's all um, just go through the rotary unlock. It's the HTC esque version. Very cool. So uh, that would be an overview of the unlock screens.
Alright, so one thing we should be talking about is the the music controls in the unlock screens. So just to give a rundown, in the stock Android lock screen, the rotary, the my UI, basically any non Samsung lock screen will work with any music player that you have running. But um say with any Samsung lock screen like the Samsung Galaxy S2, Epic Glass Puzzle, all those lock screens will not uh, show any other music player except for the Samsung uh, Samsung music player so that being said um, Let's go ahead and set our unlock screen to Android unlock and then always show music uh, music controls and As you can see you will have a play button here, and if you play it you Go ahead and play the music So that's a pretty cool feature and I'm definitely liking that. Now with the My UI lock screen, I've come up with several problems with regard to um, the music controls. First thing being, when you set always show music controls, it does not always show music controls. So you can't really start playing on the fly. Like um, you just turn on your unlock screen and start playing music. You can't really do that. But say we start playing something, and um, you turn it on the forward button will not work it will just pause the song but the back button works this is a known issue and um, I'm not sure uh, what's wrong here but just be aware that the my UI lock screen has um, some problems with the music controls so that being said the my UI lock screen is actually one of the cool lock screens and it's definitely something that's pretty uh, far up there um, as you can see, uh, when you do get a missed call, you get the preview here. I've got two missed calls here, and if you press it, you will get the numbers that you missed. Of course, I won't be doing that because uh, that will expose my contact. But uh, that is uh, something that happens, so which is pretty cool. And I'm definitely loving that. And of course, when it's charging, there's a pretty cool animation that happens, as you can see here. So that should be it for me. Check out the Simply Galaxy S2 ROM review in my channel if you want to look further into this ROM. It's definitely a great ROM, works well. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. Um, and shout out goes to Degrate who has done a great job here. <laughs> so, um, yep, that should be it for me and I'll talk to you guys later.